Hi, my name is Dr. Sandeep Gupta. I'm currently the team leader of the AMA Legal Advocacy Committee. What this committee is about is advocating for the entire integrative medicine movement in the realm of legal issues. And the reason this has come about is that over the last two to three years, there has been an increasing number of integrative doctors who have been facing difficulty with regulatory boards. One thing about the experience of, of being under scrutiny and having your whole practice called into question is that it's often a very isolating experience. And it's often a lot of anxiety there because we as doctors often don't have a great understanding of legal matters. We don't know where it'll start and where it will end. And sometimes there can be a lot of shame around you know, having scrutiny put on you. So we asked ourselves, what can we as AIMA do about this? And one of the, the ideas that has come up is that we can have other integrative doctors being mentors. And really this is something that, that is very powerful because as I already mentioned, it's, it's a very isolating experience to have your whole practice put into question. I myself have been able to act as a mentor in many cases. And my experience of that has simply been that it's, you know, it, it's a connection that I would have loved to have had myself when going through a regulatory board issue, um, which just started many, many years ago. And actually, I'm, I'm not totally through my own uh, issue. However, I've been very, very lucky to have had a lot of support uh, from other peers and also from lawyers uh, who have been willing to help out and create strategies for me. And once I had support, uh, that really transformed the whole experience for me. Early on, it felt extremely isolating and very, very difficult. And I didn't know, you know, I didn't know if this was the end for my practice. Uh, I didn't know what to tell people around me. It was just very, very difficult. And so um, being able to be there as a mentor for others is, is a step of caring. It's a, it's a step of peer support. And I think it's very fulfilling to be able to be a listening ear for others, basically expressing the story that they've not been able to tell many other people and to be able to express understanding and in some cases to be able to offer resources uh, such as a list of lawyers, such as um, an info packet which AMA has put together and, and various other things. So if you may consider being a mentor uh, we would really, really appreciate it. It's probably going to be a couple of hours of time every two to three weeks or something like that. It will depend on how many people at any one time are needing support. The second thing we're looking for is doctors to be peer reviewers or assessors for other people's cases. Often there are, there are standard experts that these regulatory boards call on on a regular basis. And in many cases, these expert opinions that they get will be very critical of integrative medicine. And therefore, it's very important that we have senior people in the integrative medicine movement who are willing to be a voice for this movement and say, yes, I've reviewed what this person was doing and here's what I thought of it. There's no pressure to have to give a particular view or opinion, but really it's just about peer support. Uh, there has been some concern raised at times as to whether this would put the the reviewer at greater risk of scrutiny. And although I think that's theoretically possible, we haven't seen anything so far in the last two to three years to suggest that you know acting as a peer reviewer has put anyone at risk or, or put anyone in the spotlight in terms of these medical boards and regulatory agencies. So it's again, it's a very, very helpful step um, that you would be offering if you're doing this. And you know, unless we have people step forward to be peer reviewers, we're really going to continue this pattern of being, you know, of being unfairly treated, if you like, or unequally treated by these regulatory boards. So this this is a really important step of um, squaring the table, so to speak. So again, just to reiterate, we're looking for mentors and we're looking for peer reviewers and assessors. If you're willing and able to volunteer as one of these roles, please contact Cressida Hall. Her email address is cressidahall at aima.net.au. And we thank you for your participation.